Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, welcome back to another video. So this video is going to be my unpopular island living opinions. Island living, or, yeah, island living, not island paradise. I need to get over that, I need to get over that now. Opinions are opinions, they're not fact. So we can all have opinions, we can all share them. I'm a bit nervous for these kind of videos. He's always amazing in these videos though, and none of you actually get hateful. I always encourage talking about it in the comments as well. So if your opinion is different than mine, please share it. Don't just keep it to yourself. Let me know, because I love seeing your opinions as well. So anyway, that's enough about me trying to protect myself and do damage control even before I've recorded the video. So let's go. First opinion I have is that the conservationist career is good. I played with it a little bit and I was kind of disappointed by the time length that it took to complete it in terms of its effect on the island. But I think this is one of the best careers that are in the game. I really do. And that's me viewing it from outside of my own personal wants and everything like that. I'm a very what's even the word for it? I don't like to be that involved in my sims lives. I like to send them away to work because when they're away at work, I get a bit of a break. So I'm completely fine with that. But with this one, it is very interactive if you want it to be. You can also just go and work, but it's also mixed in with the island too. I think it's a really good career because when you compare it to the other careers like diver and lifeguard, you barely get anything. There's no diveable world. So what's the point of being a diver or a lifeguard apart from just going off to a rabbit hole? I would have expected some kind of interactivity, but the conservationist career, it gives you that. It also gives you the chance to play with this career outside of just the island living context. So if you're going to go to Windenburg, it might be a little bit harder to complete the career and it might be a little bit less rewarding, but you still get to complete the career and do things. Career, as always, I'm talking about the jobs not the countries, so. But yeah, it's good. It's fleshed out, especially compared with Get to Work. Get to Work, we had three careers and yeah, they were very fleshed out, but that's all the pack was. Three careers and one little world. Where with this, we get the full world, we get lots of careers, and some aren't that fleshed out and that's, that's, anyway. But compared to them careers, the conservationist career is good. That's my opinion. Next. Hello, just me. <clears throat> oh my god, just need dad to hear that. My asthma is so bad. Anyway, just me popping in because I think th I actually missed the main point with this one. The conservationist career is good, but that's not really that much of an unpopular opinion. My unpopular opinion is because people say, oh my god, I know I've got no space. Sorry, it's been a long day for me. Just ignore that. But people say that the gameplay is really lacking, and I agree with that one. But I disagree with it in this context. I don't think that the gameplay is lacking in terms of conservationism and the conservationist career. That was my point that I fully failed to address with that. But it's addressed now. Let's move on. There is a lot of talk as well, whether it should be a game pack or an expansion pack. Some people are feeling robbed. A lot of people do say that it is a game pack with an expansion pack price tag. I do agree with you somewhat, but I think the world itself, the whole swimmable world, and the fact it's literally in an ocean, that brings it into being an expansion pack. And you could retaliate with that and say, yeah, but what about Jungle Adventure? We got a whole new world, blah, blah, blah. I get that. And I get that they had to make a new world. But with this one, they had to do so many different animations I had to basically like I don't I don't even know how it works but they had to code they had to make a new world so half of the world is walkable but half of the world is swimmable that means you have to make all of the routing and everything for that swimmable you have to also do all the animations for it to be swimmable by toddlers children teens adults elders all of that so that extra work brought it into being an expansion pack I can't be that angry at it for being an expansion pack apologies for jumping in again I don't usually jump in this much and I haven't for a while but I've just been thinking about my point there and I like to provide a fully unbiased trial so I'm going to do that now. And I've been thinking about it in my head. And I've just said that they'd need to do animations for toddlers, children, everything. But would there? Because you've already got swimming in pools. So if you've got swimming in the pool... Sorry. If you've got swimming in the pools, then wouldn't the animation already be there? They'd only have to do like the little bibbly bobbly in the water. So maybe I've just disproved my own point. But let me know what you think if the whole swimming in the ocean thing did bump it up to being an expansion pack let me know because i don't know gameplay can be lacking which i touch on slightly later on with another point but in terms of what you get we get so much build mode and buy mode items we get a lot of things for create sim we do get some gameplay things we get careers as well and like i said with the conservationist career that one is kind of active as well as all of that we also get a brand new world you know that's swimmable which is something that we've never had in game before where you could argue 
argue that the world jungle adventure, yeah, it's got new trees, but it's still very similar to the other worlds where this is a completely brand new world and that's why it's an expansion pack and that's why I'm not that upset about it being an expansion pack. Do I wish that Realm of Magic was an expansion pack and this was a game pack instead? Oh wait, I do. I really wish Realm of Magic was an expansion pack, but alas, it's not. <laughs> And my third one is that mermaids are rubbish. Don't hate me, hear me out. I know a lot of people like mermaids and I am kind of biased because I have already said previously, mermaids are not my thing. I don't dabble with mermaids, right? Kayla, Lil Simsy, who was my friend, I'm not just slagging her off, like we're friends, so don't think I'm using this to like be like, Meh. she used to watch Little Mermaid all the time, wanted to grow up to be a mermaid. I wanted to grow up to be a wizard. I was basically as Kayla was, but with Harry Potter. So mermaids have never tickled my fancy. And I think if they do tickle your fancy, I think they'd be great and they'd be amazing for you. But as someone who mermaids don't tickle my fancy, there's not enough there in the actual pack to make me want to play with them because yeah, you can become friends with dolphins. Normal sims can do that too. So where's the motive to actually go and become a mermaid? You can swim slightly faster, but yeah, you can do a couple of spells. But are they going to make my dirty pot go away? Are they going to clean up my house? Are they going to impact my day-to-day -day life? Or am I going to have to do something that I wouldn't really usually do? Like give someone a kiss so they can breathe underwater for an extra 20 seconds. That doesn't impact my day-to-day -day gameplay. Whereas if it was more merged with day-to-day -day gameplay, like I've said, like with household chores, I might want to play with them. As it stands, I don't think they're very in-depth. I don't want to do a let's play on them because I don't think that there's enough there to do a let's play on them. I know if you like mermaids are great but I don't like mermaids so there's not there for me don't hate me for that please try and understand my opinion because I know people can get very dodgy about mermaids number four I don't think that they should have included the spirits of Solani I know that it gets a lot of influence from like the Polynesian culture and there is a lot there and you can see that but I think because the gameplay is lacking somewhat I think they should have either went all out with it or not at all because now we have these stories of these spirits but there's not actually any story there I was planning on doing a whole history of Solani because I thought oh obviously there's going to be so much to do it on because there's all of these things you're never going to get that video because there's no history of Solani and I thought that we'd learn it through these spirits but we don't I just don't think that they should have included it because now it's just like look what I could have had I feel so sad <laughs> my voice is coming across so sad maybe it is you never quite know number five is all about the volcano and I don't think that the volcano is very good I know. I was so excited for it because I always say that The Sims 4 is like life on peace mode, like in Minecraft. But sometimes I don't want that peace mode. I want murder. I want my Sims to possibly die. Like the times when you go to school in The Sims 3 and then an asteroid had hit and all your kids would be dead and you'd be like, oh my God, I lost my entire family in one full day. That's what I want. So when we got the volcano, I was like, oh my God, God. Yes, it's finally, like if you live there, there's a little bit of risk, but it's not too into your game. So you can kind of not have that risk as well if you don't want it. After playing with volcanoes, right? You get an egg on your lot, a little bit of vibration. Your sims get a bit tense. In the end, you only really win from having the volcanoes there because you get rare items from the volcanoes smashing down. You don't have the possibility of death, I don't think. Correct me if I'm wrong though. Your house can't catch on fire, I don't think. Again, correct me if I'm wrong. So where's the challenge here? Because I'm only seeing the positives. My sim might be tense for like four hours, but my sims get tense if Eliza Pancake stands up on the door or if the food's slightly overcooked. So really, what am I getting here apart from a little animation of the camera going like, whoa, and then boom, we've got an egg. So yeah, Volcano, not great. I think they really could have done more with it. Number six, this is gonna maybe cause a couple of years to be angry, but remember, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. It's better than Island Paradise. No! No! I've said it, I've said it. I know a lot of you are massive Sims 3 stands, and you know what? I am. I'm a massive 3 Sim. I'm a massive Sims 3 stand. In my spare time, it's usually The Sims 3 that I jump to, not The Sims 4. I love The Sims 3, but Island Paradise. <sighs> not great unplayable and yeah you can have mods and stuff like that to sort the world out but you shouldn't have to do that you shouldn't have to do it and i was never too fussed on the diving locations so i'm okay with the fact that they're not there in island living unpopular opinion but that's just my style of gameplay and i can totally 100 percent respect why other people really wanted diving locations but for me they're just not a priority sorry and number seven i'm okay with the fact that we don't have houseboats and i think it's a good thing that we don't have houseboats i never understood 
understood the point of them in The Sims 3 and I can really understand why other people like them in The Sims 3. But in The Sims 4, where we don't have that open world, what's the point in having a houseboat so you can go to one other location in your current neighbourhood? I don't get it. I don't. Really don't see there being any point for houseboats in The Sims 4. I don't know whether that was a conscious decision by EA because it is a closed world and not an open world like The Sims 3. But... Why would you need them? You got speedboards so you can bibbly bobbly about. Why would you need a houseboat? I don't get it. So I think it's a good thing. Sorry for breaking your heart because I know a lot of people are going to be hurt. That is the end of this video. Thank you all very, very much for watching. Like I said in the beginning, I was being 100% honest when I say leave your opinion in a nice and respectful way so we can all have a conversation about it. I do read every single comment as well. I don't have the time to reply to them all, but I do read them all. So I like reading all of your opinion because I think it takes all sorts to make the world, doesn't it? And it's mad how two people who play the same game can have such different opinions. So let let me know what you think. Let me know what you think of this video. It's been quite a while since I've just done a proper sit down and talk you want and I know that that's what brought a lot of views to my channel the first time. So I hope you I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye guys. Mm -hmm.